Both Opus Clip and Clap promise to make viral YouTube shorts for you from your long videos. I've tested out both and found one is way better than the other. So here's the comparison. The way to start the process off is exactly the same on both websites. On Opus Clip, you just paste the video link here that you want chopped up and you paste it in this box here on Clap or you can simply upload your videos directly from your computer onto both websites. Now Opus lets you bring in videos from Zoom, Google Drive, YouTube, or Rumble. Whereas on Clap, you can only bring in videos from YouTube, so a lot more flexibility with Opus there. One important thing worth mentioning at this stage, once you've pasted the link to the video that you want chopped up, it gives you the opportunity to write in topics into this box here that were discussed in the original video that were interesting that you want the AI to look out for when it's choosing the clips to make for you. And that just felt important to me, the fact that you get given input into what the Opus Clip AI looks for when it's choosing clips for you, whereas Clap doesn't give you that input. I used my own 44 minute video when running this test. There's links to free trials for both Opus Clip and Clap in the description to this video if you wanna try them out yourself. And looking at the time it took both of these AIs to take my original video and come back to me with finished clips, it took Clap eight minutes to do its thing and it took Opus Clip 12 minutes in total to do its thing. So not much difference there really. We're going to get to the important topic of how many clips both of those AIs generated from that original video in just a second. But first, let's jump into the edit screen of one of these clips in Clap to look at satisfaction, which is pretty much how many features there are in each of these platforms and just how nice it feels to use the website. So the first thing to say about Clap is when you come into this customization screen here to edit your clips, it just doesn't look very nice. Like it just looks messy. Like these presets here just look ugly. There's so much on this left panel that I just don't know where to start or what to look at. It has things like animation, spring and none, but I don't even know what spring is. It just didn't feel very nice to use on first impression. Whereas in Opus Clip, everything's just more nicely laid out. You can actually see the animations before you select them so you know what you're clicking on. Coming back to Clap now, I'll show you how we change the start and end points of our clip in both. So in Clap, we have this slider here where we can change the end point of any of our clips that have been generated for us, and we can change the start. And annoyingly, to get to the start of this very first clip, it takes ages to scroll along using this slider, which just really annoyed me. And heading back to Opus Clip here, you'll see that they use a different way for us to set the start and end point of our clips. You'll see on the left here that a huge chunk of what was being said in the original video has been added in as text. And the words that aren't grayed out and don't have a line going through them are the moments of the YouTube short. So it starts with the word the here and it ends with the word right. And Opus Clip lets us change the start of our clip really easily by just clicking on the word we actually want the YouTube short to start on and pressing set start if we want it to start earlier. And if we want it to finish sooner, we just choose the word that we want the short to finish on and press this button here, set as end. And the moments of our YouTube short have been changed nice and easily like that. I prefer this method to the drag and drop method that you see here on Clap because I never find that I get the right moment when I'm dragging like this. And I always have to go backwards and forwards to choose the perfect moment. Whereas just simply clicking on a word and pressing set as start is so much easier in my opinion. So respect to Opus Clip there. Now on to the important topic of how many YouTube shorts both AIs came back with from that original 44 minute video. Opus Clip came back with a whopping 18 YouTube shorts, whereas Clap only came back with a disappointing three. And that difference is the important metric here because as in theory, we want to be creating as many YouTube shorts for our channel as possible to get as many views as possible and to make as much money as possible. Every 10 minutes going by this test, we can expect to get 18 new YouTube shorts from Opus Clip, whereas we're only going to be getting three like this from Clap. So over the course of hours and days, our channel is gonna have a ton of more videos if we're using Opus Clip like you're seeing on screen now, compared to if we're using Clap, the tiny amount of clips it generated here is being shown on screen now. And when we look at pricing for both of these platforms, the decision just becomes a no brainer. There's a free trial for both of them by using the links in the description to this video. 
But once you're ready to upgrade, Opus Clip starts at $29 a month. There's a sale price of $19 a month at this point in time as of recording this video, but it's usually $29. And the price is exactly the same to use Clap. And because you're getting less usable clips with a less satisfying experience for the same price, I can't recommend using Clap at this point. I've got to recommend you use Opus Clip for making your YouTube shorts. And why stop at making just 18 YouTube shorts at a time when you're using Opus Clip? I found a way that you can make thousands of clips in less than 10 minutes using Opus Clip, which I run through in this video right here. So make sure to watch that next and remember to subscribe to the channel.